Hello, this is Koka, music producer, sound engineer. So in this video, I'm gonna try to explain the concept of sidechain compression. Sidechain compression is used probably in the entire music industry, including all styles and genres, trap, pop, hip hop, house, EDM. But many people are getting this technique the wrong way. So in this video, using logic breaks, I'm gonna walk you through all the steps and all the methods that you can achieve the sidechain compression results the correct way. This, the same concept can be applied using different DAWs like Ableton, FL Studio. If you want this project, make sure to get me to 500 subscribers. And once I get to 500 subscribers, I will put the free download link for this project for free in the description. So subscribe and like this video. So this is the demo you've heard it in, the, in the beginning of the video. I'm using a lot of compression, sidechain compression in this video. In this project, I mean, I'm sorry. All the, I think the only input to the sidechain is the kick. This is the kick where everything in this project is sidechain too. I've sidechained the lead, the lead sound to the kick. Okay, play the lead. Oh, sorry. Also the piano. The airways, of course. Well, the, the way I've sidechained the airways is a different technique. I'm going to explain everything in this video. And then the percussions, the, the shakers and the vocal chops and also the acapella. The only, the only thing that is not a sidechain to the kick is the snare. Is the snare, the snare, I don't usually sidechain my snare to the kick. The, side, the snare won't be swallowed by the, the output of the kick. So what is sidechain? What is the meaning of sidechain compression? Well, sidechain compression is a type of compression where the effect level on one instrument, the kick in our project, is controlling the volume level of another instrument, like the piano. So the volume of the piano or the lead or the pads is controlled by the kick. So whenever the kick hits, there will be a slight change on your piano or pad or lead sound depending on your compression settings like the, uh, the attack, the threshold, the, the knee, the release, the, all these things. It is the way the sidechain compression affects your sound. You can of course sidechain put a compression on every, on each and every single track. You can go to dynamic compression. You can use logic breaks, stock compression. But also you can you can use third party compression. Our most famous one is the um, fob filter, fob filter compression too, or waves C uh, CLA two A is a, a very famous sidechain compression too. All you need is an, a sidechain input on in your compressor or in your compressor plugin. If it is a third party plugin, you're gonna need to have a, a sidechain input where you can choose the signal that will be affecting your sound. In our case, it's the kick. So you can you can add. A compression sound or compression plugin into your add to your sound lead or piano, and then choose your inputs, your input sidechain. That meaning the sound, the kick, or whatever it is, the thing that we're going to be going to be affecting the sound. In our in our case, it's the kick. So let's choose the kick as our sidechain input. Let me first change the outputs and history outputs. Let's where is the kick? No, let's keep it solo. As you can see, there is a ducking, there is a side chain effect, there is a ducking compression applied to the lead, applied by the kick. Or so any time the kick has, there will be a uh, there will be a ducking, a volume decreasing in our lead sound. That will help 
the kick to be standing out, the lead to be standing out to be present and also prevents any frequencies clashing. If for example we have a fre low frequencies in the lead and uh, we have also low, low, low frequencies in the kick, there will be some frequencies clashing and masking. So there will be some distortion, saturation, some harmonics that we don't exactly need. But also sidechain compression can also be used to, to show the rhythm and to have rhythm on your on your beats let's choose 08 i'm gonna explain more what i, what I mean what is the 08 let's let's go for this one this is our longest weight so it's better to explain with this one the kick So with this 808, I've used two sidechain methods. The first one is I've I created a bus. I call this everything. And on this bus, everything, I've sidechained. I've got my settings right. Like I, I've used the insert as the kick. I've played with the makeup gain, the ratio, and the threshold. The higher threshold, the lower the threshold, the more powerful and the more uh, violent the sidechain going to be. And the higher the ratio, the higher the sidechain gonna be. So, for example, if uh, let's choose, let's add another, let's create another compressor. So we don't mess with settings. For example, I go, I go so high and so low on the threshold. So as you can hear, there is a violence sidechain. The way that air, the eight weights comes back to, to to its original peak is a ver is very saturated so you're gonna have to smoothen your settings so it's not noticeable by the average listener it's not it's not going to it's not going to ruin ruin your sound as i said you can add you can add compressor sidechain compressor plugin on every each track of your song like you can add this on the piano on the piano reverse on the pad on your leads on the piano drops on your leads your air weights it's okay, but it's just gonna, gonna eat more resources and eat more RAM and eat more processor. The, the, uh, the way I do it is I select all my tracks, I open up the mixer, I select all the tracks that I want to be affected by the sidechain. So I deselect the kick, I deselect the ride, because the ride goes with kick in my this project. I deselect the snare, the clap, and then the snare fill clap reverb also so every single one of these tracks that i want to be affected with the sidechain that i want them to be controlled by the kick i select them then i choose i go to the master output and then i choose bus so the sound will go through a bus and then through and then via and then to the uh, st stereo output so i choose a bus let's choose let's create another a new bus bus six where is bus six? Bus six, this one. Let's call this side chain pressure. And then, the, for now, there is no side chain going on on the track. If you hear closely, there is no ducking. Everything is, everything is stable. All the volume are stable. There is no ducking. There is no affecting going on on your on the project. So we go to our bus side chain compression. We add a compressor. The Logic Price compressor is magnificent. I don't usually use other compressors. Then the first thing we're gonna have to do is choose our input, which is the kick. So sidechain, input, uh, I'm sorry, insert, and then kick. If you're using an audio, like a sample of the kick, if you're not using, if you're not using the kick as a, in a plugin and it is in a piano roll, or you are using it as an audio, you can go to audio and then choose your kick from the list. In my case, I'm using it as a sample in a plugin, in a sample manager. So I'm choosing the kick, and then I'm gonna play with the settings until I am satisfied with the results. The more violent I go, the more sidechain is going to be noticeable and bad. It just gonna sound bad. So we're gonna smoothen the settings. We're gonna go for like minus 32 dB on our threshold, 1.7 on our ratio. We don't, we want um, kind of fast in the middle, fast and slow attack. 
and then fast release. There we have it, we have now a sidechain compression, but there is another type of sidechain compression, another whole type, which is frequency ducking, uh, called fr and frequency sidechaining, which means you don't sidechain the entire frequency range of your sound. Let's take, for example, our piano. So let me explain, let me explain what I mean by frequency ducking. When you use the, only the compressor, sidechain compression like I used this time, like I've used the last method, you're sidechaining the entire frequency range from minus 20, 20 Hz until 20 K Hz. So you're in sidechaining the entire spectrum of your sound. But sometimes you have a pad, you have a sign, you have a lead, which only you want to sidechain a specific part, a specific range of, of the spectrum. The rest of the range is to be kept intact. So to achieve that, you need to use a multiband compressor. Logic Pro comes with a multipressor, with a multiband compressor. But the thing with this one, the problem is you don't have a sidechain input. You can't select what which is the sound. The input is going to be sidechaining the sound. It's going to affect the sound. So we're going to use Fab Filter multiband compressor, multiband compressor. And then choose our sidechain input, which is the kick, kick drum, and then select which range of the sound that we need, we want to be affected. Um, let me play the piano first. I'm gonna I'm gonna deactivate the original sidechain compression. <coughs> Sorry. So we have a clean sound. So I'm gonna send the, the, the piano straight to the stereo output without going via the bus. Now that I've selected our frequency area, they don't want to be affected. It's from 1, 171 hertz to 590 hertz. Then go to experts, choose external, which means the sidechain input is going to be external, which is the kick. And then we play with the, the side chain. Now, only the range that I've selected that is side chain, the rest of the sound spectrum is kept original, is not side chained. If you want side chain to side chain the entire spectrum, you can easily select the entire frequency range. But I'm only selecting a specific range of the sound. You can use that with the air weights. For example, we go to the air weights. Um, let's choose a multi band compressor. We go go straight to stereo output. Select the kick. Select the frequency range which you want to be affected. So that's most of the air weight is leaving. 60 hertz area or oh, experts external and then play threshold the higher you go the lower you go on the threshold the more violence your sidechain gonna be and when you see this line going down that means there is a kick bumping the kick sound is bumping which is it and it is sidechaining the, the frequency areas that we've selected. So there is this is a better method to use your sidechain compression in case you want to sidechain only a specific part of your sound. 
let's say you have electric guitar and you only want to sidechain the lower parts of the guitar so the higher frequency range is gonna be present in your mix but the lowers is going to be it's going to just to disappear every time the kick hits you can also use sidechain compression with the snare you can sidechain the entire sound of your project into a snare sample you can do that for example by selecting your by selecting the entire sound the entire tracks that you want to be sidechained let me deselect the kick the ride for example this time and the hi-hats you can add a bus a new bus the bus that we where ha we have sidechain compression already with the kick you can you add another compressor easy select your snare insert and then snare clap i don't have a i don't think i have a snare i only have clap i have side the, the settings for this project saved and then there it is now our sounds are sidechained to the kick with the first compressor and then with the snare with the second compressor. Now every time the kick and the snare hits, there will be a, dick, a ducking in the sound and that will make the kick and the snare more present and will give the sound more rhythm. not sidechain because I've selected the wrong input so it's not the snare it's if you want this project so this is it for this video, thank you for watching, if you want the free download of this project file, this entire project file, make sure to subscribe and like, because when I get to 500 subscribers, I will put the free download link in the description. So just subscribe and like this video, and I hope you've learned something. Thank you for watching, peace.